all right guys so i hope you are done with the basics you have watched the basic videos now let's move ahead to the basic questions once done with them once you are comfortable move ahead to the difficult questions or the later videos let's try the first question simple question on mean what does the question says we have five numbers j j plus 5 2j minus 1 and all the numbers in forms of j the mean is given to us as 8 the question asks us what is the value of j let's go ahead and calculate all right now we know that the mean which is 8 in this case is sum of the numbers divided by the number of numbers the number of numbers is clearly 5 given to us some of the numbers will come in the form of j but remember two minutes quickly calculate don't write all the numbers first count the j's 1 2 3 4 4 and 4 8 8 and 5 13 so total i have 13 j's how many ones let's calculate 5 minus 1 4 4 minus 2 2 2 minus 1 1 so that's 13 j plus 1 from here i can simply solve so 40 equals to 13 j plus 1 39 and divide by 13 so it's directly 3 but we are doing for the first time i'll go a little slow so it's 39 by 13 and comes out to be 3 but in the real gmat a test taker who is at quant 51 or 50 tends to avoid these kind of steps so j is clearly 3 let's go ahead to the next question Now these are some specific question types we are required to form the table over here that is the best and the easiest way i would want that you pause the video for a while and try it on your own then click on the play button and see our solution as well so let's see how we deal with these kind of questions all right so as decided let's draw the table so we have some products and we have four years but they have been divided we have been given that first in 2005 some products were produced so in 2005 how many months 12 months why i'm taking 12 months because i'm given the average that is 2000 products per month so how many in one year 12 multiply by 2000 every month i'm writing k to make the calculation look little simpler so 24k produced now how many products will the company need to produce from 2006 to 2008 so 2006 to 8 that means three years now we are given that the average the monthly average for the entire period 2005 to 2008 for the entire period the monthly average is 200 percent over 2005's average what was 2005's average 2k products 200 percent over be careful not 200 percent off 200 percent over that means 2k plus 200 percent of 2k that's clearly 6k so you should be very good with percentage you should make it very quickly 100 percent of 2k 2k 200% of 2k, 4k, 4k plus 2k, 6k. So now the monthly average is 6k. And how many months? 12 months for one year. How many years? I have four years. Four years, 12 months, 6k monthly average. What's the total number of products that need to be produced? 12 into 4, 48. 48 into 6k. So I'm not multiplying it right now. I'll do that later. Some things will come common and the calculation will be simpler. So this is the question. Table is made. 2005 these many products. 2005 to 8 these many products. I am looking for these products. What will be the answer? Clearly total minus already produced. So the answer is 48 into 6k minus 24k. And now you can easily sense why did I wrote k. Why did I did not why did i not multiply because now i'm going to take things common and see how simple it becomes let's take the things common what we'll have we will have 24k common it will be 2 
multiply by 6, only 2 and 6 left, minus, this goes entirely. So now I have 24k, multiply by 12 minus 1, that's 11. 11 into 24, that's 264k. I did not learn the answer. The answer is very simple. You need to know how to multiply by 11. You will form this 11 a lot of times. See, 11 into 53. Quite simple. Spread 5 and 3. Add the digits. 5 plus 3, 8. That's the answer. Same thing I did. 11 into 24. Spread the 2 and 4. Add 2 and 4. 264 is the answer. Now, if sometime, if you get something as 11 into 75, same method. Separate 7 and 5. Add them. It brings out to be 12. Now, don't write 12 over here. 2 over here and 1 carry. So, 825. That's how you multiply by 11 quickly. So, that's how you deal with these kind of questions. Make the table. Write down 2005. 2005 to 8 total. And you'll find the missing one. Quite simple. So, the answer is 264K. Let's go ahead to the next question. Yeah, so it's 264K. All right, let's have a look at this question. Please read it thoroughly. Try it on your own before you go ahead with the solution. John makes a contribution to a charity fund at school. The average contribution size will increase by 5%. So I don't know now, but it will increase by 50%. And we also know that it reached $75 after increasing. And we are given that if there were five other contributions apart from John, then what is the size of John's donation? All right. Again, we are given with few stuff. Out of the total, we are going to draw the table. All right. Let's go ahead. I hope you have tried the question. If not, still the time is there. Pause the video and try it on your own. Then only you will understand it better. Okay. So let's see my table this time. So I have John plus five other people. And here I have five people. Right now, I do not know the average contribution. But I know that when John and five other people combine, the average contribution is $75. Now this is 75 per person. And I also know that it has increased by 50% and then you have reached over here. Now comes a very beautiful concept of percentage, multiplying factor. If a number is increased by 50%, I can write it down as 1.5x. So I know 1.5x is equal to 75. Similarly, if a number is increased by 10%, you say 1.1 times number. 20%, 1.2 times number. 30%, 1.3 times number. If you decrease the number by 10%, 0.9 times number. Use the multiplying factor. Quite simple. 50% hits 1.5 times number. That's 75. Clearly, I get x is equals to 50. Now, the game is quite simple. This is not x for me. This is 50 for me. Now, guys, the game is over. Earlier, the contribution. What was the total contribution? 5 multiplied by 50. That gives me $250. This was without John. What is the contribution now? 75. And how many total people? John and 5 making it 6. 6 into 75. How much? It's $450. So the increment from here to here is $200. And who has brought the increment? Who has come in? Who has contributed more? Nobody else except John. The remaining 5 concentrations or 5 donations are same. The only donation which is made new is John's. That's $200, the difference because of the John. So see, if we draw the table, the questions will be done under one minute. Otherwise, you will mess it up. You will be confused in the middle. So this is the best we can do with these kind of questions. Let's move ahead. All right. So this is a question on median. We are given that we have two sets, set A and set B. Median of set A is equal to median of set B. All right. And also the question states that the sets and also the question states that the sets are in ascending order already. It's not given over here. Just please pardon me. It's given in the question. All right. Ascending order already maintained. Now the median of the set is equal. We know that. Fine. What's the median over here? The number of terms even. So two central terms. 
we can directly observe these two are the central terms here and these two are the central terms here but this is our first kind of class where we are practicing questions i'll use the formula n is equals to 4 so central term n upon 2 that is the second term and since it is even one next term to this so that is third term all right so second and third term we could have seen it very clearly as well over here so next time i'll not do this so let's go ahead to the white page and solve the question further so we need to calculate y minus x and the game is almost done these two are the central terms central terms let's go ahead directly x plus 8 by 2 is equals to y plus 9 by 2 because we know that the median is average of two central terms cancels cancels we are interested in y minus x so y minus x this goes over there and the 9 comes to the left hand side so 8 minus 9 that's minus 1 the value of y minus x equals to minus 1 that's it we need to do so these were some basic easy questions and i hope you are very comfortable with these questions move ahead if you are comfortable slowly slowly we will increase the level so far we have done the basic concepts meaning of each and every term now even the basic questions are finished we'll go to the advanced questions from the next video hope you're enjoying the series bye bye guys and stay tuned for the coming videos